How's you everybody? Welcome back to our Pokemon White 2 series. In the last episode, we completed like the, the team. I think I think we completed the Team Plasma story because we did the next the, the last bit on the um, the frigate would be battling Zinzolin and um, White Kieran and stuff, which meant that we were able to get through the giant chasm which we had fought Zinzolin's merged um, White Kyurem with uh, Reshiram after N drops in. Oh, we, 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 we didn't fight this training before. So, I'm pretty certain the Team Plasma, the team plasma side of this game is done. We'll be obviously, because we'll we're heading to Victory Road. And aiming to get our way through there. Yeah. I'm pretty certain, but I don't remember after that. But with you, after beating um, Gettys, praising that he, like this, he, he, he said me like disappears. Remember, they like, he, he just like. But yeah. We already got our encounter. We, we could have had an Ampharos in this route. I think we got a sand. I think we got the sand dial on this route. I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a max repel on as well. Just so we can um, run through this grass a little bit quicker. We'll claim it, as you know, we'll, while we're here, we'll, we'll claim the items. To an X accuracy and. Oh, this turns into a static Amoongus. Yeah, it is an Amoongus. It brings Amoongus into Amoongus. I, I think that's where that ends. Not 100%, like, definitely. Prison. Prison. We can run around here. We can run around and through here to this next to the to the door where they were protecting. Not that one. Because you were, were protecting that door last time. Not really avoidable. Oh, I guess it can if you went on the water and surpassed the trainer. One one. She's a shaman. Quite interesting amount of legendaries we've seen. We've seen, right, especially recently. Giratinos, Arceuses, the Shaman. See, for me, where is he a move that isn't 100% important to have on Shaman? Purely, for me, because of. Oh, I was going to heal myself enough. Really because it turns your Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon from their ability to Insomnia, which means you couldn't put it to sleep to get three turns that three turns of healing that way. It just leaves you in a predicament that you let you limiting your status your status of it, your status effects. Look the other way. 
Ah, he did the dummy. He did the dummy. He looked one way and looked back quickly the other way. Parasect. Ice Beam. Secret to me? Yeah. We are faster though, so Ice Beam should just knock it out. And a Gulpin uh, will switch to Woody. Or an air slash. Wait, what type is it? What type is this open? But it's poison, isn't it? Back in my heart. No, not so much. Okay. So I could have used Extra Two, which is super effective, Psychic is super effective, but I didn't. I tried to use Ice Slash. I'm gonna heal because we took a bit of damage. Plus, we've got quite a few, we've got quite a few potions, so we can afford to heal up a bit. As I said, that's probably the that's probably the biggest waste of a uh, high potion for like twenty damage. Okay, we go down and we do that, so we can avoid that trainer. And avoid you by going up here. There we go. Oh, it's N. We have to fight N? Oh, Warfall. I was wondering, like, wait, I was wondering then. I was thinking, like, wait, we have to fight, we have to fight him? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool though, isn't it? It's like, it's like, it's, it, it's scat. You step there and it scans, like. It's just scanning your badges, like. Oh, yeah, he's definitely got them. It gets the edge, like, it's not registered. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Uh, no, we'll probably we can we'll be able to claim our encounter into Victory Road. Mainly, this is it's pretty cool. You gotta you gotta admit, some Victory Vic, Victory Roads tend to be one of the best areas, well, best designed areas of Pokemon games. I'm trying to have a huge to show up. You know. Okay, this is our victory road encounter. A man type. Does give us a water type. We're going to catch it, we'll use the ultra ball. As in, we do still have fossils as well. So. No, I'm gonna run. I know it's a waste, wasting the a water encounter, but I just feel that. It might, it might stall us out. Blazing Bones. And. 
I'm not too certain there's many things I can actually hit I can actually hit it with on the team. They were 22 levels higher. So we've still got the two uh, fossils we can restore in I think it's Nimbasa, um, in the museum. Okay, so trainers in Victoria House level 72. So roughly I on track on levels. Roughly. Like, only if you can buy like max ethers and stuff, we'll have like loads of that. And a ho ho. We're definitely going to say into this. <laughs> Use the agent power to rock. Doesn't get the boosts. So we use Psycho Cut again. We did half health in one hit. We should do the rest of it in the next. And we get a crit to increase it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna heal because we took. I think. Oh, we don't need really, it. We can't full heal. Full heal doesn't do it. Doesn't do anything with health. We have strand. You and your ghost let's see how many ghost ups you actually have. You have two Pokemon, you have a Raticate. Normal, we don't have a fight inside bow. We use Saga Cup and a Sharpedo, which we do have a grass type. We'll go into Slinky. Really difficult not just to try and one run it with with Bala. It is really difficult. Cause look, cause just because of how good uh Chris Elliott actually is. Oh we get a crit as well. Two one hit knockouts. Awesome. Went, went to, went, well, didn't go far enough forwards. Jinx, which is Ice Psychic. I think we had a Jinx right at the start. Like, right at the very beginning. It's not actually, we've not lost it, we just replaced it. We should be safe to switch into Zoroark because Zoroark's dark, primarily dark, so Ringgate won't do much damage. But it does have Blizzard, which is. it's gonna hurt. This basically means. this mainly if it gets a crit, we lose. Unless it can miss one. If it can miss a blizzard, we should be fine. Alright, it's just gonna nail nail every five, all, all five blizzards and get a crit on the last one. Yeah, we, we're gonna have to because we, we probably didn't, we probably could have just stayed in this follow I'm sorry, we're not even, we're not in hail, we're not in a hailstorm. So you get a higher roll, so like, they, like, 
Ugh, so annoying. Oh, and I've just switched into a bug, bug steel type. Okay, Parish Song. I, I'm, so, I'm so annoyed. Because I don't know, what are the chances of that? What are the chances of it managing to nail three blizzards in a row? Because I'm sorry, it's not, it's not as though blizzards are 100% accurate. Logic determines that it should have missed one out the. You should miss at least one out the five. That's RNG. That does, that does really suck though. We've lost our um, our main um, dark type. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Obviously, it's going to be in the party till we get to the PC. So let's put it to the back of the party. Why are there so many unavoidable trainers? Wait. We probably should fight him. Okay. I'm gonna fight him tonight because I've got I've got a free heal of um like move PP. This doesn't bring back Zoroark in any way. I just wanna be able to have um the move the build the ability to restore my moves. Because like certain ones are only um, ten, and after a few battles, we will we would be unable to use like ice beam. Well, it's quite bulky against a um, a sir, but we know that Zoro works at the end at the back of, at the back of the party. We can't use it. There we go, you said cut to get rid of it. Well, the 74. Why is there just so many trainers? You always seem to have two Pokemon as well. It's like we all have two Pokemon. But yeah, it does. G all it does is gives us a free heal of uh, moves, which is the main reason why you fight that. You fight that trainer. And obviously, if you're not nuzlocking, um, it gives you a free heal of everything, so you don't have to waste your potions. Basically, I can I, I can either do that as a double battle, or hope I can fight one. They're looking the wrong way and get through the gap. It's been like into Ari I want to say Ariados. There's no way it's surviving a crit, super effective uh, cycle cut. And a rescue. The second one of these faces we're facing like four trainers. We get the same knockout as well.
Bye bye. That's all about pushing boulders. Maybe not that room. I don't really... Go outside. So it, ju it just feels that it's a, it's a standard name, the two bug one. I'm not sure I face that trainer with the, with the one. Okay, that's four one. He four one in my ice beam, not the cycle gut. Interesting. When we are psychic kite, which means we get the same time attack bonus. Okay, Zasu. No, uh, switch into Snapper. Is that, that's where I would really love to switch into Zoroark, but I just can't. Might as well, it makes it loss number, what, six? Which isn't actually terrible. Given that we have level boosted it, we did struggle right at the start with uh, the Poison Trainer. With, Ro with Roxy, when Roxy, nearly, when Roxy nearly got us to restart. You know, it's just the case of that's just the way that uh, the the cookie crumbles. Ooh, twisted spoon. We'll go this way. A shame would be a hidden item. Oh, a speaking plate. Imagine to sneak past. It looks like we made it to the top of Victory Road. Okay, so we got what? That. Oh yeah. We have final three trainers. Final three trainers now. Well, she has three, so I'd say so. So the Flaffy. Flaffy. Flaffy into Amphros, but evolved from. Uh, um. So I, I can't remember what it's called. I can picture it. <laughs> Murray. That's it. Knew it. One thing I will say, our luck has not been here. Like, that's three blizzards and a thunder. They've all hit. And the chances of that outside of, like, I don't know what, I think it's it, rainy, rain, rain dance that increases your likelihood of landing, which allows you to land all your thunders. I think. And I think it is hey well it was definitely hailstorm that allows you to land all of your blizzards. And a Bagon. We will switch for Slicer. Why not? Possible mod right now. No, well, there's no, there's no entrance, so we've not made, we might not have reached it just yet. Okay, 
please tell me that wasn't what I, what I think I've- Oh, it is a Diablo as well. <laughs> uh... How painful is that going to be? Not very, but we're gonna we're definitely gonna heal. It's lucky we've earned, we we lost some money off uh, the team plasma bit, isn't it? We have to risk all these potions. From we had twenty at the start. Okay, he's iron tail. Okay. Oh wait, it's it's, it's steel dragon, isn't it? So ice beam should no. I might say Ice Beam should do some decent damage, but obviously not. Oh, it's got, it, please tell me it's not going to be into a lot of time range. No, it hadn't. Holy. Um. That, 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 that's not good. Void it. We're just gonna try and chip, like, chip it down. Okay. So, it has to recharge now that it's landed it. So we do get one free hit. But we do get the knockout on the Diablo. No, we're going to keep the old moves. A Chinchu, we'll switch to Woody. But holy! <laughs> This randomizer has not been kind of Victor Rose. But I just made a mistake, he's part electric, he's water electric in it. Yep, was so out of there. I complete I forgot which one Chinchu was. I probably should what still probably should one hit, given it's super effective. Don't have really have an electric move. We have an ice move. So we'll probably switch back to Valor for the ice move. So these two have had three. Ice probably will. Are you being hung on? I was waiting for it to have aftermath to, to just destroy to just set the rest of itself. I was waiting for that. I don't know aftermath just got. Uh, nice health you got there. Before we start again. Okay. Them two are a bit, a bit more, a bit more tricky. Oh, is this the rival fight? It is as well. Which means out that out that door there is the it is the entrance to the four. Okay, so it's four. It's only got four months. Four month. Okay, so we've got a Rampardo, which is. Rock. We have Surf on there. We have Surf, right? Wait, did we take a quick way around um, Victory Road then? Okay, did that one get 
So we knock out the Rampardos. Coughing. We'll switch into Staffer. Epic Total hits a Levitating Balloon. Masquerain is... Water? I wanna say? I think all things to do, we've got a very well balanced team. I wanna say it's water type. Water something. I think it's water grass. Or water bug. So we'll switch into Valor instead. But Ice Beam. Okay, he uses a second Quiver Dance, which isn't looking good because it's boosted speed, special attack, special defense twice. Plus three. Oh, he's got this bug. That's gonna hurt. Because he's also going to force star, which, which is good, I guess. I guess a good power search entity probably would be uh, slicer, because bug will be bug will be neutral. Bug and bug neutral. I guess our special defense isn't down anymore. Because we lost it to a Screech from Rampardos, which means we've lost our second to, to us two months. This should be the last the last fight. So Bug has got hundreds of accuracy, I assume. But he's named his name plus four. Eat. Please get the crit. Please. Yes. We didn't get the crit, but we got the knockout. Holy moly. And a Sandshrew. Slinky. And you do. Holy moly. The masquerade giving me problems. Admittedly, we did alone a, a little bit to set, to set up a little bit, which is kind of my fault. Okay, there's no way a solid dancing century should do damage damage. Plus we are faster, so leaf two leaf blades, we get the knockout. <laughs> oh, Thunderbolt. That'd have a kind of electric type. I see, you just said there he goes, oh, I lost, so I'm going, bye. Yeah, we're here. Oh yeah, because he blocked off all like, the cons where we used to be able to slide down. Okay, right, we're here, we made it. We made it, we made it. Okay, we, don't, we won't need another repel. 
Uh, we're gonna go and put them in a box of two mons that uh, we lost. So it was Crocodile and Zoroark. Which does kind of suck because we did lose our bait at our t Intimidatory Bulk. But we do have two fossils, two different fossils as well. So we'll probably do that next episode and then the Elite Four, the one after that. So then we can just see what the fossils are. So probably we start in, probably start in Nimbasa. I think it's Nimbasa, isn't it? We haven't, we haven't actually been there. No, I go to my time map. Nimbasa is no, it's not Nimbasa. It's Nakreen. So we need, we're gonna need to head right from Castile City and get there. So we'll probably stay in Castile City, get to Nimbasa because there's a couple. Of, there's a couple. There's still a couple of encounters we can get in between. No, we need to stay in Nimbasa. It's Nakreen City, not Nimbasa. Because I'm pretty certain Nakreen Cities were the normally the second gym is in the first game. And along with the museum. I'm pretty certain. If I'm wrong, please let me know where the fossil restoration place is. So that'll be close to the end. So thank you for watching. Please give us a like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya!